Churches in close proximity to archaeological sites tend to have several things in common. The first is that they are usually quite old, some dating back to the beginning of Christianity. The second is a simple design, perhaps a product of its age. The third is that they are usually built with recycled material from the ruins. However, there is a church in the Peloponnese that breaks all of those expectations. This is Adventures by Footnotes. I'm Esteban, your guide for today, and together we're going to explore the church of Aya Fotini in Madinia, considered to be one of the strangest churches in the world. The church of Aya Fotini is located in Greece, in the center of Peloponnese, 150 kilometers from Athens and 13 and a half kilometers from Tripoli, in the middle of the ruins of ancient Madinia, just 100 meters from the entrance to the archaeological site. This Orthodox church is, relatively speaking, very new. Its construction began in 1970 and ended in 1973. It is the work of the architect Constantino Papatheodoro and sponsored by the Madinia Association. It was built using only natural materials such as stone, marble, wood and tiles. And no, no material from the ruins was reused. Its design does not belong to any one style, but mixes the classical Byzantine and Romantic styles and incorporates radical ornamentation and iconography, with the intention of expressing multiple religious metaphors. The interior includes three chapels. The main one is dedicated to Aya Fotini, Saint Fotini or the Illuminated Saint. The North Chapel is dedicated to Saint Cosmas, the Italian. While the South Chapel is dedicated to Saint Philip the Apostle and Saint George, patron saint of Greece. The tiles imitate the old style and makes references to classic stories with Christian connotations. In addition to the main church, on the outside, there is an altar to the heroes which has not been finished, and that is a metaphor for, and I'm quoting, the inner peace of man. And also there is a Jacob's well, to remember the place where Jesus spoke with Aya Fotini. Both monuments are built in the classical style. Its unusual design has earned the admiration and respect of some. In fact, some people call it the Greek Sagrada Familia. But also the contempt of others, who consider it to be quiche or disrespectful. TripAdvisor put it on its list of the strangest churches in the world. The international press calls it the second most mysterious church in the world, after the change of Saint Sulpice in Paris. Unfortunately, it cannot be reached by public transport. The access to the church is free. To visit the church, you'll need 15 minutes. If you're planning to visit the area, nearby you will find the archaeological site of ancient Madinia, 100 meters to the east, and Nestani. 11 kilometers to the east, one of the best viewpoints in the entire Peloponnese. This is all for today. See ya in the next adventure.